Good morning, guys. I hope you guys are having a good day. So I'm going to be telling you guys about what I've been doing recently because I haven't been doing any new videos. The videos, videos that I've been posting up were made a while back when I was in Sacramento and also when Chase was here. But now as you guys notice, Chase isn't here anymore. They did go home on Sunday. But um, the videos you guys are going to be seeing are the ones I have made a while back. So I do apologize about that. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what I've been doing recently. So a couple days ago we did have a, a barbecue at my in-laws and we did invite my husband's cousins over. And I do enjoy talking about other people's jobs just because I wish I can work. But um, because I have two boys, it's been kind of hard to go back to work. But I've heard that my husband's cousins are working as DoorDash on Tuesday when I was just messing around, just see if I, uh, just applying for it, just to see if I can get it, because I thought maybe I wasn't gonna get it. And DoorDash, of course, I didn't get it because um, I said it wasn't open, but wasn't sure. But then I went to Uber Eats, and I was able to put all my information in. So I was just like, wow, like, should I actually do it? And it's like it was something that I was thinking of doing just because I was able to do my own schedule and I don't have to work constantly if I if I if I couldn't. So I went to go before I even put in my information. I went to go talk to Ryan to see how he felt about it, and he was okay with it. He said it was up to me, and then I went to my in-laws to see if if I were to decide to work at least a couple hours a day or even couple hours every other day if they would be um, able to watch my kids and they were up for it too so I was very excited so on that night I went on my first Uber Eats delivery and I brought Faith with me just so I because since it was dark and I was kind of scared so the first order I just clicked it without even looking at because I, I saw that it was from Panera Bread and I was nearby but I didn't look to see where the address was so I went to go pick it up and picking it was really smooth but then I found out that the delivery um, was for Larry so um, that's one of the mistakes that I did was not looking at the address but um, it was my first day and so we picked up the food and we went to Tulare. And I was hoping that I can do another delivery as well. But like, so I got to the house and I put the, the meal on the door. And the thing is I forgot to take a picture. So I left and then um, I Faith saw that they already took the food. So, but the thing is that I didn't take the picture so I couldn't exit out of the navigation so it kept bringing me back to the house and I couldn't try finding new orders and so I was just stressed out about it because I didn't know what to do and um, and then like the timer was still going on so my yeah, me and favor just trying to figure out like how to how to exit out of that order and then like so like after like 20 minutes of trying to find it, we couldn't find anything and so we decided to go home. And I was like really stressed about it because um, I don't know what was going on. And then like, but then once I got home, I went to go look online to see um, what I can do. And then like, they explained it to me, like what I can do. It was something so easy. And um, pretty much you just click on take the picture and then like, and then on top on the top right corner, you just press skip. And that's pretty much it and I just felt so dumb because like I've been so stressed about that but um but I was like so far like the delivery was so was it went well it's just that that part it just stressed me out and I don't even know why I've been stressed out about that but um but because the navigation was still on and I didn't end the order yet even though they got the food 
it did say that it took me like 40 minutes even though it only took me like less than 20 minutes to deliver it so that was the i guess this you have to live and learn so and then um the next day on wednesday i decided to um do it again in the morning so i went to one of the sections that has like a lot of the fast foods and pretty much i stayed there for about I would say about 30 minutes and I didn't get any orders so I went to go drive around to see if there's another area and the thing is that on the map on Uber Eats it shows when it's gray that means it's really busy so I went I kept, so I just continued driving to where that gray area was and when I when I kept getting closer to it it would disappear so like I've been doing that for about three hours and I could never I couldn't get an order at all so I was really frustrated about it but um I was talking to my husband's cousins and they said it's very normal to not get any orders so like and I'm really thankful that they're able to help me because even though like they have DoorDash and I have Uber Eats they're able to um, at least help me because I was just been so stressed out and I just didn't know what to do so they went ahead and like looked online and they gave me some tips of Uber Eats even though they haven't done it before and I really appreciate that a lot just because I know that I should just read it and just figure out like what's like what I'm gonna be doing but because like I feel like more comfortable just because they know about it more so that's why like I tend to ask them for help it's because Whatever, like I try to learn things on my own. I feel like I like I mess up even more. So I'm just thankful that they're here to help me. But yeah, and, um, so for about three hours, I was just driving around and I could not get an order. And then eventually, like after three hours, I got one order. But um, but. I wasn't too it wasn't too far it was from Popeyes and then I delivered about I would say about two miles away so it wasn't too bad so um, oh yeah and I was gonna tell you guys about the amount that I made on for on Tuesday night so the thing is that the mile from Panera to the Tulare was about 12 miles like what I heard from uh, Ryan's cousin was that for DoorDash they get a dollar for each mile but for me I saw that it was about 12 miles to Tulare but then the best the base pay was about five dollars yeah about five almost six dollars and then um, the tip was seven dollars that I got so I got a total of $14 which isn't so bad for first delivery, so I was very happy about it. So, but um, so yeah, for continue for the next day, um, I delivered my Popeyes meal, and it was about say about five dollars as well, and uh, they tipped me about a dollar, so it all was good. Um, and then. We went to go do laundry around, I would say around about two, almost three. So I put my clothes in and then like I ended up just turning on my my Uber Eats just to see if I can get any orders. And one popped up which was just um, right next to me because the El Boy logo was just right here, about less than like five seconds away. So I ended up going over there. <laughs> Sorry. So I ended up going over there and then I got the meal and then I, so the pay was about, again, about $5 just to deliver it and then I drove over there and it was an apartment so I was having a hard time finding it and, and then eventually about like maybe like another like three minutes, the customer ended up coming out to finding me and so I gave the meal to them and then I went back to the laundromat so for that day uh, for that time I also made so the base pay was five dollars and then and then was it um 
the tip, she tipped me $5, so that was also good. And then, the thing is that I noticed that Uber Eats, I, that you don't really get as much orders because a lot of people aren't really using Uber Eats anymore. So I decided to... <coughs> To, to apply for it but the thing is that like there was um I was told that you can dash when um, there is a, um, a order open but most likely we wouldn't get a um, get an order just because the schedules for that is all taken so I had to wait for a while but when I decided after laundry to go do another Uber Eats, I ended up opening my DoorDash as well, just in case if I were to get one. And luckily, um, the DoorDash uh, um, time schedule did pop up for me, so I was able to do it from 5.30 to 7. So I ended up doing that. And first order went by well. It was from Gozen's, um, $5 base pay again. And I deliver about less than a mile away to the house and got a $5 tip. So that was also good. But my last order was fairly, it was um, it's really hard. Um, so, so, what happened? So, the thing for DoorDash, it actually tells you where I can go just to. Um, just, uh, it's kind of like, it's called a hotspot, so like, yeah, it's called a hotspot, so like wherever, like, you just go over there, or just park there, and you usually would get an order, if you're very lucky, and I just clicked on one of them, it says I would have to go to Sizzler, just go to Sizzler, so I went straight to where the Sizzler was, and before I even parked, the order pick, uh, order just popped up for Sizzler, so, and the order time, um, pickup time was about, it was 5.58, and I was about two minutes early, so I went ahead and went inside, because usually when I just go inside, the order will be ready, so I went inside, and then the lady that was working there, she told me it would be about a couple more minutes, so I was like, okay, that's fine, and then I was sitting there, and another customer, um, who was doing Uber Eats, I was doing DoorDash, she was doing Uber Eats. So she asked for her order too, and, and then she went to go check again for both of us after a couple minutes. And she told us, okay, about five more minutes. So we're like, okay. And then like, after the five minutes pass, she came, uh, she went to go check again. And then she came back saying, about three more minutes. So I was just like, okay, like, so is it like 10 minutes now? Like, so I was just kind of like, okay, okay, I'm fine because maybe the next one they'll come but like when like after like another like i'm gonna say five minutes she came back and gave the customer that came after me her order so i was very like wow like seriously but yeah i was starting to get frustrated because the order time pickup was supposed to be 5:58, and i've been there um it's it was now about 6.20 and they kept coming to me and saying like it's gonna come out right now, it's gonna come out right now and it wasn't coming out. So another customer comes asking for his, I believe DoorDash and then like he sat down with me for a while just talking to me to see how long my order was I told him about 25 minutes already and he was like, he was like oh wow like and I was like I know and, and then they came out us, um, or told us that the order was going to come out right now and then he went um, like went back out there and then came back with the 
other customers order so I was I've been there for about now 30 minutes and I'm just like what's going on because the thing is that I didn't really understand because the meal was, about, it was just two chicken noodle soups two bread and the order of french fries so I was just like I didn't know what was going on and after like another like five minutes um, they came out to me asking me what my order was and then like I was starting to get like really like really angry because I'm more worried about the customer that placed the order like honestly if it was my food I would have I would have got the refund already but like I was more worried about the customer because they are they are waiting for my for their meal and wasn't ready yet so I honestly didn't know how to react just because I'm just picking up food for someone else and I usually if it was me I would just get up and say something but I didn't know if that was even allowed I don't know I wasn't sure because I um like so I just messaged the customer out telling them that, that I'm sorry for the delay that I would the food wasn't ready that I would be there soon Luckily, they did reply saying that it was okay, so it made me feel a little better, but at the same time, they were taking longer again, and eventually, after another 10 minutes, I got the order, so, like, I just quickly grabbed it, and I left, I, like, I was just, like, so, like, I was really annoyed, honestly, because I usually just go in and pick it up, and everything would be fine, but then they just took, so, there wasn't even busy, too, so I don't, but, honestly, I don't even know, maybe there was a lot of orders coming. I just felt really bad for the customer so yeah that um it ended up being one hour so it started about 5 56 until almost seven so i could and i wanted to do more orders since because it went um finding that order was so fast but the we waiting for the order took forever so i couldn't go out to do another order just because um, my in-laws were watching the kids for me and then my father-in-law had to go to work soon so I had to head back but that order was about ten about ten dollars ten dollars for base pay just because it was about also another ten miles away since something that I didn't even look at as well so but yeah and then um, I was tipped about three fifty, which is pretty good. I'm, I'm just glad that I was able to give their food to them. But yeah, I ended up that I ended the DoorDash after that delivery, and I ended up going back to my in-laws just to spend the time with them. So yeah, so far it's been really good. Um, Uber Eats, um, Uber Eats and DoorDash is going to be something that I'm going to be doing for a while. So. I'm hoping that I can like just work with uh, work as those just to get some income even though it's not too much but at least something hey guys so it's about 5 30 right now I'm about to head out to do my first door dash of the day and I signed up for the 6 p.m. to 7 30 so I'm gonna be doing that time so I'm just gonna follow it and see if I can get any orders. So hopefully my day goes pretty good with the orders. So a few moments later. Hey guys, so I am doing a DoorDash right now and also my Uber Eats. But um, after a little while, I'm gonna switch over to DoorDash just because I haven't really been getting orders from Uber Eats. But um, I got my first order. It is from KFC. And I'm just heading to the customer's house right now. So, so far it's been pretty good. And the weather wasn't as hot as yesterday, so that's a plus as well. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I just dropped off my first deliver. So I'm just gonna hopefully get like another two. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do that again tomorrow. So yeah, I've just been just doing just about two hours a day and sometimes it does take a while to get an order but it's it's okay i'm just doing it just for just for fun so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my video please hit that subscribe button and please like my video i will see you guys on the next one